giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hello everyone and welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. Thanks for watching. I'm Carol Kelly. Joining us today, the CEO of Iowa Women Lead Change, Tiffany O'Donnell. Tiffany, welcome. Thank you, Carol. So as CEO of this organization, you have to deal with a lot of hot topics that are in the news. And, I've, and you're very passionate about mm -hmm. that, which I appreciate. Um, and you don't just sweep them under the rug. So let's talk a little bit about one of those topics, pay equity mm -hmm. in, the, uh, in the workforce. Thank you very much. It, it, pay equity happens to be the topic of a lot of conversations now. I know Leslie Stahl just did a great piece with the CEO of Salesforce.com, this you know powerhouse company that has a world-class culture. I mean, receives awards for its great culture, but when they looked at 2015 and saw that women make less, by and large, for the same positions as their male colleagues, they went in and really re-examined it, and I think invested something like 300 million dollars just to make it right. And you know, is Salesforce? you know, a horrible company with mean people running it, you know, gender biased people, absolutely not. And, and neither are, you know, I would say most organizations, but um, we don't know what we don't know. And this conversation we're having now about pay equity is really um, prompting great organizations to take a hard look at themselves. And sometimes, you know, the answers aren't very fun to see. But, you know, IWLC is proud to be leading the charge with um, this epic, the Epic Corporate Challenge, which is a public-private partnership with the state of Iowa and our private partners, Delta Dental, um, that, that for the very first time invites companies to join a challenge that takes a hard look at issues like pay equity. And, you know, just finishing up our second year with the Epic Corporate Challenge, I'm proud to say we are seeing, you know, more people joining the challenge and some movement in terms of how many are taking a look at that data. Let's talk a little bit about that and, and how someone could join the challenge. Sure. Um, EpicIowa.org is the website, but you can also get there by IWLCLeads.org, which I know we'll show you in this segment. Um, it's free to join, and it really is a company saying we're committed to growing women in leadership at all levels. We don't just say sign, the, sign on the line here and we're done. We actually offer then bi-monthly peer-to-peer -peer sessions with senior leaders. For example, last month we had one with a, um, a corridor company that is, again, received national awards for its culture. It happens to be an employee-owned organization. They did a virtual presentation so that all of our Epic Corporate Challenge companies could join this video meeting and hear best practices. So we talk about unconscious bias. We talk about strategic issues that affect the structures inside organizations that either make it a great place for women or a not so great place for women. And tell us about, too, also um, the state of Iowa and how we're making an impact or we're tracking these numbers, whereas others aren't. The Epic Corporate Challenge is the, Iowa is the only state in the nation that not only asks people to take the challenge, but we actually measure the results. Massachusetts and Utah have a similar program initiative, but they just ask people to sign up. That's not enough for us. We not only want to say, you know, join us with the challenge. We want to say we're going to provide you with the support and then we're also going to measure it because if you don't measure it, it doesn't matter. So um, finishing up our year two survey, we're finding that we are making some movement in terms of more women joining corporate boards, um, more organizations than ever taking a closer look at their pay equity and doing something about it. We don't unfortunately know what they're doing about it. You can imagine organizations are pretty, um, they keep that stuff fairly confidential, <laughs> but we know that they are taking a look at it and they are doing things inside the organizations to make things better. So again, by measuring and asking these questions, we can't help but move the needle. Absolutely. Tell us about, um, you've got two sold out conferences. Two sold out, I Amazing. know, done. Tell us about that. Quad Cities, the very first one, we just wrapped up in March. Uh, in the, it's our, a new market for IWLC. And then the April conference for the Corridor is sold out. And you know, I think it's uh, probably a combination of things, but as you mentioned, uh, there are a lot of hot topics around um, you know, women's issues right now in the workplace. And I think a lot of it stems from just a critical need for a capable, talented workforce. Um, and people just recognizing, let's just be good humans. Mm -hmm. You know, this isn't hard. Absolutely. Let's just treat each other the way we want to be treated. Absolutely. Well, we're going to bring you back because we want to talk about what you're working on because I know that mind is always going. It but sure where is. can someone learn a little bit more about your organization? Our website is fairly comprehensive. It's iwlcleads.org. And you can find information about our events coming up. Um, we have workshops throughout the year as well, so smaller events. And then also the Epic Corporate Challenge. Anything you want to know there to join us for free. It's a great, <laughs> not only is it great for, for organizations to, to um, commit to making a change, 
but I dare say I've heard from others it's a really great recruiting tool too. If you're an Epic Corporate Challenge member, you're committed to growing women leaders. It's the right thing to do. Yes. Tiffany, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Carol. This has been MediaCom News Leaders.